Heinemann Higher, Chapter 9 on Integration. The mixed questions, exercise 9 are at the end, number 8. The area under the graph, this graph here, which is simply a straight line between these two x coordinates, is divided into two equal parts by some other line, x equals k. What's the value of k that does that? Well, what does this look like? y equals 2x plus 4, cuts at 4 with a gradient of 2. So let's put it approximately looking like that. So there's the line y equals, I'll put in the order of 2x plus 4, from x equals 0 to x equals 4. So this is the area in question, and the thing, and the question says, where would you put a line x equals k, so that it cuts that in half? Well, it's obviously not going to be in the middle, because that half's smaller than that half. So there's some line x equal to k that splits that area into two equal parts. Well, that's what it means. It splits the area into two equal parts, two equal areas, which means that areas should be the same for the two parts. Don't want that bend, do it. So that means that the area on the left hand side, the area from 0 to k under, I think I'll write it that way around, 2x plus 4 dx, should equal the area on the opposite side, going from k on towards 4, or 2x plus 4 dx. The area should be the same on either side for it to be equal. I think that's just the case of doing these integrations. So it's up to 2 divided by 2, very nice. And I'll just be go back to the linear term. So that was OK. And this is obviously an identical calculation, just with different limits. And that's going from k to 4. And that those calculations will be the same. So that says, now, work it out twice. Work it out at k. So I've got k squared plus 4k. I'll just put minus 0 for that side. And this side's going to be 4 squared plus 4 times 4 minus k squared plus 4 times k. Now that could join that side because then I've got two of those. So if this comes over to here, I've got 2 times k squared plus 4k is equal to 16 plus 16. And there's a big quadratic equation there, just multiplying out. So I've got 2k squared plus 8k minus the 32 is 0. Let's take out the factor of 2. So k squared plus 4k minus 16 equals 0, which looks very nice until you realise it doesn't factorise. And I'm going to have to use the formula for this one. Factors of 16 with a difference of 4. So the formula. So k is going to be, but I don't need to express it completely. It is the higher after all. So it's going to be the negative of the middle term, plus or minus the square root of the middle term squared, minus 1, 4 times that times that. So it will be plus 4 times that is 64, over twice the first one is 2. So I've got negative 4 plus or minus the square root, and that's 80 all over 2. And the thing about this, k is a positive amount, so I don't really need the negative. So I think at this stage, I'll just rub out that negative part there and put a wee qualifier. I know that k is greater than 0. Then it's a case of you can either just put that into your calculator or just keep it in its exact form. Now 80, that's 5 16, so that's 4 root 5. So I've got negative 4 plus 4 root 5, or negative 2 plus 2 root 5 would be the actual value. So I could put, then, put it down this way either. k is equal to, maybe I'll put 2 root 5 minus 2, or as a decimal, just put that into your calculator. I'll put it down here. 2.4721 and so on, which is 2.47. So either k equals 2 root 5 minus 2, which is the better answer because it's exact, or k equals 2.47 if you want a decimal approximation to it. That's question 8.